Now, Debbie Ellison. The Laughter Yoga East Coast Conference in the, is the brainchild of Debbie Ellison. Woo! She had, after some financial restraints, kept her from attending the 2010 All-American Laughter Yoga Conference in New Mexico. She said to herself, Deb, why don't you create a conference on this side of the world? So she did. She called her laughter mentor, Sebastian Gingery, and got him on board. Together, they would produce a conference in Atlanta in 2012. However, after circumstances led to Sebastian's resignation, she was lucky enough to have Jeffrey Breyer take Sebastian's place. Thus, you, me, here, now. Wow. 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 And yeah. And yeah. And I just want to let you guys know that uh, Debbie went through a whole lot of trials, a lot of tribulations, a lot of hard work. There was many times we didn't know if it was going to happen, but we kept pushing forward. And many of you were here, especially her family at that, that back table, was there to keep supporting her. And this is the very first, but it is not going to be the last. It's going to be here in Atlanta. So we're so glad that all of you made it. So I just wanted to put that because I've been there the whole time helping to create it and it's just been a wonderful yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you, Lee. It's been a very really wonderful journey and so this is just, thank you. this baby has, has been born. <laughs> so now, Debbie is the director and CFO, that's the chief financial officer <laughs> of Laughter for Wellness. She's a certified laughter yoga teacher trained by Dr. Madonna Kataria. Woo! She's a published writer and editor. She facilitates laughter clubs, certified leader trainings, and classes. She trains, she does presentations on laughter, stress management, joyfulness, creativity, and healing writing for individuals, organizations, and corporations. She has presented at Peachford Hospital, Brunel University, Emory University, the National Alliance on Mental Illness, Kennesaw State University, the Georgia Association of Nursing Students, the Georgia Mental Health Consumer Network, and that's just a tip of the iceberg. So we definitely have two very well accomplished people who have helped put this together. So Debbie is ecstatically joyful that she had the fortitude to keep it going and to keep on going when the hoeing got tough. It's <laughs> <laughs> some tough days of hoeing. It was a tough road to hoe sometimes. <laughs> and she was, she was so happy that her energy lasted long enough to get this hole on the road. <laughs> Better than a tough hole. So, for Dan, we do. Very good, very good, yay!
God, I didn't turn the camera on. Don't say a few words. Don't even want to say a few words. But soon you will say a few words. She has no one prepared. Debbie has nothing prepared to say because everything that she thought she was going to say that she prepared, Lee just said it. <laughs> and by the way, did he call me a hoe? Yeah! <laughs> In the best possible way. In the best possible way. A ho ho! So, uh, a few confessions. So, when we were first talking about doing this, I mean, Debbie's idea and and then uh, one day Sebastian said, Jeffrey, if you want to do it, I don't want it, and you can have it. I said, okay, we'll do it. And at first we were saying, well, what if there's only 10 people? What if there's like 12 people? So we said, well, let's make sure the costs are low and see if we can work something out. So, so even if there's only 10 or 12 people, it'll be a success. Even if it's just, you know, really close friends. So I want to thank you all for coming from far and near. Thank you. To make this a huge, a much more big success. I mean, when we said we have to get more chairs, we have to get more tables, it's like we weren't prepared for a second. <laughs> so please give yourselves a Good hand. Good problem. Woo! So let's get an idea of who is here. How many people here are from the greater Atlanta metropolitan area? ATL in the house! Okay, how many are from the South, including Florida? Yay! And how many are North? Still on the East Coast, but North of the Mason-Dixon line, wherever that is. Yay! So, representing New England, thank you so much for coming. And I know even, even people who only came, you know, they're a small number. I know everyone helped us spread the word and let others know about it. And you know, one of the great things about that is when it happens again, People go, oh yeah, I remember, I'm familiar with, I feel comfortable with it, and so we'll, you know, next year we'll have twice as many people. Yep. How many people are from west of the Rocky Mountains? <laughs> well, I'm the Looks like kid. you, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> and how about other countries? Do we have anyone outside USA? And including Canada? <laughs> but who doesn't, who, who can't, you know, flu. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> congratulations, whatever, yeah! yeah! Okay, I'm like Jeffrey. I said, Jeffrey, are you going to prepare a speech? He goes, I'm going to wing it. So, <laughs> he's a winger. <laughs> so, I don't wing it. So, uh, <laughs> I'm not a winger. <laughs> You're a <host. laughs> She's not ever winger. <laughs> But she's a tough hoe to road. <laughs> um, anyway, as Lee said, I think he said this was a dream of mine about like a year ago. It was this little seed in my head, and now it's, it's, it's I'm so I can't believe it. <laughs> Thank you. 
where they will not be judged by the frown on their face, but by the joy in their heart. I have a beam today. I have a beam that one day little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white girls and little white boys and laugh and play together. I have a beam. that one day every valley shall echo with laughter. Every hill and mountain shall be made joyful. Every <laughs> <laughs> the sad will be uplifted and the negative will be transformed into positive. I have a beam that one fine day, instead of being chastised for laughing for no reason, we will be celebrated for laughing for no reason. Instead of hiding our mirth and merriment, every person in the world will be encouraged and free to be themselves! Yay! I have a beam that one day our laughs and teehees will be heard throughout the land, that we can crack up in peace! Yes! That we can snicker and snort in public without fear of reprisal. <laughs> <laughs> that prejudice will cease against happy people! Yay! And we can once again walk in public with our judge and laugh! Yay! Yay! I have a beam today. I have a beam that despair and gloom in this great land will be replaced with lots of cheerfulness. And our national anthem will be rewritten to end with Very Good Very I have a beam. I have more beams. I have a beam that instead of being made to feel ashamed of being childlike and silly, where society will support our silliness and our childlike natures. Yay! This is our, this is the faith that I come to the South with. With this faith, we will be able to hew up a mountain of despair, a stone of joy. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of laughter. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to laugh together, to play together. Oh, yeah! together, to stand up for laughter and joy together, knowing that we will be free to be childlike one day. One day. One day. One day. This will be the day when all of my Don's children will be able to laugh and sing with a new meaning. My country tis of thee, sweet land of silliness, a thee I speak in gibberish. <laughs>